When you hear the name Hebron Preston, you most likely think of his namesake brand that exploded onto the streetwear scene six years ago. But did you know that along with Virgil Abloh and Matthew Williams, Hebron Preston has helped to modernize the entire streetwear and fashion genre. I mean, obviously streetwear existed before these guys came along, right? And there were tons of brands doing their thing once they hit the scene. But sometime in the 20 teens or so, streetwear took a noticeable turn. But have you ever wondered why? Well, let's find out. I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com and this is the story of how Heron Preston has set out to save the world. No, I mean seriously. But before we get started, please stop for a second to smash that like button. Liking and sharing the video is the best way to help us to continue to grow as a channel. But with all that being said, let's jump right in. Born Heron Preston Johnson in San Francisco in 1983, he often referenced the impact that skateboarding had on him, the sport, the clothing, and the culture. And even back then, Heron knew that he wanted to launch his own line. So in high school, he began printing t-shirts to sell around the area. After high school, Preston wanted to explore his talents a bit more, so he decided to attend the famed Parsons School of Design. Remember, that's the same school in New York that Jeff Staples told tale of breaking into to print his t-shirts earlier on. Check out that video too after this one. But having moved all the way across the country and not yet having a friend base out east, Heron started a blog where he documented the culture as he took it in in the Big Apple. He also had a passion for photography, a hobby that he had picked up from his dad, and this combined with his eye for fashion caused his blog to take off pretty fast. Through his blog, he managed to link with fellow designer, DJ, and creative consultant Virgil Abloh, who was a contributor to another blog called The Brilliance. Not to mention, he eventually landed a job at Nike as a marketing specialist and social media director. One thing was for certain, he even had a knack for making key connections. I mean, I gotta admit it, my boy's network game was on point. But years passed with Heron working at Nike when one day, Virgil called him up again. Virgil had spent the last few years working as creative director for a young Kanye West. And they were fresh off the Watch the Throne tour and were now throwing parties on the side. Virgil had reached out to Heron knowing that he too DJed and wanted him to join in on this new endeavor that both Virgil and Matthew Williams had. A series of events known as Ben Trill. From parties, they soon branched out into clothing and developed an app that allowed users to put the Ben Trill logo over their own photos. They also opened a pop-up shop on Canal Street. But Ben Trill eventually, inadvertently, evolved into a clothing line of sorts that would in many ways spark the evolution of streetwear. We did a whole video on the history of Ben Trill and actually, it was one of the first of this entire series. So if you want the full story on that one, then go back and watch that video after this, of course. Link is up top. Long story short, when Virgil left to start Off-White and Matthew launched Alix, he would introduce a web shop, HPC Trading Co., which sold various wares. However, one day, while swimming in the Mediterranean, a piece of trash brushed against Heron's leg. And if you've never had this happen to you, which I personally have, then it really reminds you that how sometimes we can really be animals. But from this, Heron had what they call a road to Damascus or come to Jesus moment, so to speak. Which was, dude, we're trash in our own house. And it was at that moment that Heron decided that he wanted to make his thing centered around not only appealing fashion, but sustainability. And when he got back to New York, he realized that the New York City Department of Sanitation has a uniform force that, ironically, cares about sustainability in the same way that he did. 
and in 2018, the collection launched, featuring a range of clothing and accessories including t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, pants, bags, and hats. These items incorporated DSNY logos, reflective materials, and other design elements that pay homage to the sanitation workers and their role in keeping the city clean. The collection turned out to be a success, and off the strength of this, Virgil encouraged Heron to take things up a notch. Abloh introduced Preston to the New Guards Group, a Milan-based company that produced and distributed Off-White. They signed a deal in October of that year, leaving Preston just a couple of months to pull together a presentation in time for Paris Fashion Week. The result, though, would be success. People love the everyday man look, which mixed the industrial blue-collar feel into high-fashion pieces. The DSNY collab sparked a new trend in streetwear that sent ancient houses like Balenciaga into releasing things like the IKEA bag and various other ripoffs. Not to mention, it helped usher in the whole workwear as streetwear thing that we love so much today. With all this, Heron had been thrusted into the lexicon of the genre. Tons of brands were itching to work with him now chiefly among those, his old employers at Nike. One of the most significant collaborations between Heron Preston and Nike was the release of the Heron Preston by Nike Hirachi Edge sneaker in 2018. Another notable collaboration was the Heron Preston by Nike Air Max 95, which was released in 2020. This collaboration took the classic Air Max 95 silhouette and incorporated Preston's distinctive design elements, which include orange accents and various unique materials and textures. Apart from footwear collaborations, Heron has also worked with Nike on apparel and accessories as well. Considering the everyday nature of his themes, it was only right that he would collaborate with Carhartt, WIP, as well. The collaboration combined his streetwear sensibilities with Carhartt's rugged and durable clothing, resulting in fans going wild for it. Heron, over the years, has collaborated with everyone from NASA to Caterpillar. Yeah, that's right. The company that makes construction machinery. But hey, I mean, I get it, right? But all told, the journey of Heron Preston has been just as influential as Virgil's, at least in my opinion, and albeit more quiet. Just as Off-White caused the high fashion houses to not only embrace streetwear, but fall in love with it, Heron has also caused them to lean into workwear, all while at least feigning to care about sustainability. And I mean, maybe they actually care about it, or maybe they don't, but hey, that's not really for me to judge, right? Point being, whether they are legit or not, it's guys like Heron that's got them at least beginning to talk about the issue, which is a start at the very least. For Heron though, there's really no question where his intentions lie. Rolling out a new in-house tier system, the fashion label classifies the materials that they use according to their impact on the planet. His three tier systems are as follows. Standard, which is less than 50% sustainable and due to be phased out of use altogether. Preferred, which is 50% or more certified sustainable. And finally, X-ray garments, which are materials nearly 100% sustainable. Basically, made out of totally recycled stuff. And while I'm not some super extreme, dirty, tree-hugging hippie, I do understand the importance of taking care of the earth. I mean, after all, it's the only one that we have. So initiatives like Heron's are welcomed in a time where many are only concerned with just making profit. Virgil Abloh had a huge impact on the fashion industry. And in fact, it will probably be more apt to say he took it by storm. His vision and approach forced legacy houses to pay attention to street, and it left a lasting impact. And if Heron can have a similar impact on the industry as his late homie did, 
then that will benefit us all in a much more noble level. But what do you think? Are you a fan of Heron Preston? What about his whole brand ethos? Hit us in the comment section and let us know. And if you made it through the entire video, then we hope you smash the like button for us. Liking and sharing the video is the best way to get the YouTube algorithms to notice us and help us to grow to be a bigger channel. And if you want to be updated whenever we drop a new episode, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be reminded when a new video drops. But with that being said, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com signing out until next time. Peace.